Hey YouTube, Sec Guy here. Uh, as you can see, I have a couple of buck knives new in the boxes. I got these a while ago and kept meaning to do a video about them. Finally pulled them out, getting it done now. So I'll just grab one box. We'll kind of look at the box here because both of them are the same pretty much. Over here. You've got uh, your warranty information and whatnot from Buck. At the end, these are USA made knives, both of them. Buck logo and scale. And then just nothing special. And this is the Buck. Stockman 301 and that's it now go ahead and pull these knives out here's the Stockman the 301 and then both of them will have this your buck warranty you can go ahead and freeze frame that if you like and read it if you can yeah, let's try and get the glare off of it. And then on the back is a message from the Buck family. So it'll be kind of hard to read there. But anyway. And then this is the Buck 302. Now there's a reason I'm doing these two together, which I shall explain in just a moment. But start off with, these are for my, I have a collection of 300 series knives, the black version. I believe they do have some in different colors, but I'm mostly focusing on the uh, ones that have the... Uh, Volox, black Volox handles, and start with the 300 series, or I should say that the 301 here is a Stockman, has a master clip blade, then sheep's foot blade, and then the spay blade. I'm not a big fan of the spade blade but sometimes it's growing on me. A few of them, I think I like this design a little bit better. That might be pretty coming pretty handy for skinny small game. Um, has three ba back springs. One for each blade. Nickel silver bolsters, nickel silver pins, and a nickel silver shield. And then, if you look real close on the bolster there, you might be able to see the, the pin where they've buffed it down. But there's a pin at each end, and then a pin in the middle. And all of them are nickel silver. And there's really no liners. It's the nickel silver. This is all one piece here and no liner there so and then this is the solitaire the 302 and it has a single clip point blade now go over the specs uh, both of them are basically the same uh, they're four inches closed the clip blade is two and three quarter inches long on the Stockman, both the spay blade and the sheep's foot blade are two inches long. Open, they're both at six and three quarter inches. The solitaire is 1.9 ounces, and the Stockman is 2.9 ounces. Both of them are made with 420 HC stainless steel. And 
have the same handles and whatnot. Now the 302 is discontinued. I just happened to be at a knife shop, was looking at it, and debating on whether to get it or not. And the lady there was telling me that it had been discontinued, and that was their last one. So I bought it because a couple other times there have been knives in this line that I've seen and not bought and now they're discontinued like the Barlow. I really wanted to get a Barlow but at the time didn't want to cough up whatever it was to pay for. <laughs> um, reason I'm showing both of these knives is I was doing research on this one. It mentioned that the person who was writing it was disappointed that all they basically did was take the scales of a 301 for the 302 and the same master blade clip blade and left off the other two blades and made a knife and he's complaining that the knife blade and if you look here you can see where the tip of the blade is you've got about three quarters of an inch at least that a lot of people are say is wasted space but I think uh, it allows you to have a good handle you don't have your pinky hanging off there but they were complaining about that and I was like okay I don't have a 301 let me go find a 301 and I found a 301 bought it to compare the sizes and they were right yeah they basically took the scale of a 301 with the master blade and just didn't put the others on there but I like it that it's large enough to give you a good hand grip there when you're using it um, I have not carried either one of these. I don't know how well they work. Um, I just mainly got them for the collection. Well, let's, uh, with the little card that's in the boxes, let's see how well they cut. Because I haven't done anything to these blades. So, well, that's not bad. Let's check the, uh, Okay, well that's a little lazy there, closing. A little bit better snap. Spay blade's not quite as sharp, I could feel it dragging a little bit, but all of them cut okay, eh, that's not good. I've noticed the springs on this one are kind of light. It's very easy to open. That blade closes okay. Yeah, it's a bit weak on that spring. All of them are about a opening. Um, the blades up a three maybe whereas that's got real nice that's probably about a five which is nice no, open close walk and talk mm, nice on that one on the stockman not so much but probably contact buck and say hey Springs are weak on this one and see what they would do. I don't know But like I said, it's just going in the collection um, I've got a collection of the 300 series. I think I've got uh, eight of the knives so far But they're pretty nice 
for I don't know why I just started collecting them, but I started many years ago, and I've been slowly adding to the to the number since. If you have any questions or comments about the Buck 301 or the 302, uh, just leave them below. And remember, always be prepared.